Hello everyone, it's Nancy Bastien and I'm going to attempt to show you how to make an envelope like this. I got the idea from Crafty Mama on one of her live videos. She showed us how to make these envelopes or any size you want to make them. Hang on a minute, I got to move my camera so it's every time I hit my desk it jiggles the camera. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I got it okay. The boom arm, somehow, when I pull on the camera, the boom arm, the whole other part of it that's sitting on the floor comes forward and hits my table so that when I do this on my table, it shakes my camera and that really bugs me. So, trying to get the camera already so anyway what is this is drop paper that I did the other day when I was doing jelly printing or something I don't know what I was doing but anyway this is the drop paper and so I wanted to make this envelope and if you don't have an envelope and you need to mail something out you can make your own or what I want to do is, of course, make one and use it as a book cover of some sort to make a, a flowish book or one with elastic or ribbon or even sew it in, make a little blue book out of it. But this is going to be my protocol, my pattern per se that I'm going to use. So what you need is you need paper that's 12. Where's my ruler? This 12 this way by 11 and a half or so this other way. So what you want to do is you want to come over and you want to kind of eyeball it. doesn't have to be exact. You can eyeball it. Is my camera still not quite far enough up? Let me, let me see if I can get it further up. So I'm not cutting now that I've fooled with the camera. It doesn't want to be straight. Okay. I want to put this little clip on here so that my cord, it holds my cord up. So it doesn't get in the way. Alright, is that okay guys? Holler at me. I can't hear ya. I can't hear ya. So anyway, I pretty much cut this off. This is uh, newspaper print. But anyway, you want to fold it over sort of in the middle. Sort of. If you want, you can take your two pieces together like this. And kind of make a crease up there and maybe a crease down there so you can see where the middle of your paper is. You want to bring that over to the middle and you want to bring this one over. So they're about a half inch together to um, glue together like something like that and then you want to take the bottom part and you want to fold it up oh probably about half an inch like that and you want to bring your top part down and fold it like so okay there's basically your envelope okay not so quick yet not so quick so now what you want to do is get your little scissors out and open this up 
and you want to cut out the bottom and you want to cut out this portion the corner portion like this my husband's choking on both sides you want to do this on both sides so maybe you want to make your crease a little more visible so you can see it so you want to cut that out like so like that okay then at the top you want to cut these two out at the top also so you want to cut that one and that one same on this side they're really easy to make and you can make them any size out of any kind of paper that you want to make them out of. Of course, if you're going to mail them in the mail, um, I'm going to save these because they have uh, stuff on the outside that I can use. Okay, so then if you want to, of course, you're going to fold it here and you're going to glue it together. And on the bottom, you kind of want to cut off just a smidgen, not much, off the corners like that. And a little bit off, of, just a smidge, not much. Just, you know, just a little bit. So when you fold them up, they're going to look nice, okay? Okay. Now, the top part you can do several things with. Now, for in here, if you're, you need, we need to cut this out a little bit. And for that, I'm going to use a coffee lid, Maxwell House. That's what my husband drinks. And I'm going to set that on there. Not too far down kind of center it just a little bit like so and you're gonna find your pencil which I didn't do so there's one right here I'm just gonna draw a little line just around like that and I'm going to look at it and I'm going to think mm, that's a little too far down so I'm going to erase it and bring my my coffee lid up a little bit because you don't want too much cut out just, just enough to make it easier for you to put things in the envelope that looks good right there. I'm going to try that. Yeah, that looks better. I'm going to open it up and just cut out that portion. Like that. And if it's not quite right, that's okay. If it doesn't match. So there, so now we have that so that we can get stuff down in the pocket easier. See that? Now there's two things you can do here with the top. You can leave it square like that. So when you are making a journal um, cover, you can fold it over and that will be your closure for your closure, like so. So that's how I think I'm going to make this, except for 
this is my pattern so did you all get that it's really simple that's what your pattern's gonna look like sort of but if you want to round these corners you just want to take and round them just a little bit like you know just ever so slightly but I'm not going to round them because I'm going to use but I'm going to use this piece of paper that is mixed media paper and it's a little heavier it's a little thicker and I don't have it cut out to size so I'm going to start right at the very beginning and I'm going to cut it to size and then I'm going to use my little paper here actually I could Actually, it's not quite the size I need, but I could just put it on here and just draw. Now, which side do I want? On the outside, I don't know. But I'm going to do more to it than just what it is now. I'm just showing you how to do a envelope. So that's not going to be quite enough there. Let me see if I have another one piece in my book here that I know will be big enough. Somehow I chose that one and cut it down. So I have a lot of them in here that I have been using my sprayer, my things to roll off on. So... I think I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to see, because you know what? I think that's, I didn't cut much off of that paper. I think. Let me turn it this way and it's not wide enough that way because this is. 11 by 14. Now, I need that half an inch at the top, but I'm not going to worry about it. Hang on, I need to get papers or dropping all over the floor. So, I'm not going to worry about the little half an inch. But I am going to put it this way. I'm going to cut it this way. I'm going to try and get as much of this outside because I'm going to doodle on it and see this piece is got that much but if I just bring it down to there I think I can be okay. I'll be okay. I'm going to trace my my envelope. Oops. Oops is not a good word to use when you're I should just done it, cut it and done it. It's easier than tracing this out. But for you guys that are newbies, thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I'm just showing you an easy way to make envelopes when you don't want to go buy them and you can use them for book covers. I wouldn't use paper this uh, thick to mail. Um, because it will cost you more to mail it. I would use um, this kind of paper or something just a little heavier than this. Okay. There's my template. 
So I'll be back in a minute after I get this cut out. I'm back. Okay, I just need to trim this down just a hair because it doesn't want to fold right there. And I need to bring this in just a little bit. Okay? No big deal. If you need to do some trimming, just do your trimming. But I'm going to fold it where my cut lines are. And fold it in half. And I'm going to use my bone folder so I get some good creases on it. Now I'm not going to glue this together because I want to do some stenciling and stamping on the front of it. So I just want to make sure that that folds over enough to glue on the other side. And this folds up. And I need to trim that just a hair again, just a teeny bit. to match that fold. Now I got to be careful because there's perforated edge at the bottom where it tears out of your notebook. But that's quite okay on there because it'll be glued down. So I'm going to make sure that looks that way okay. And then this part comes down. Like so. And there's my envelope. If I was going to mail something out, there's my envelope that I can mail. You want to round your corners so they look pretty. You can do so. But this one I'm going to fold in half up to there. And I'm going to use this as a fold over, which it didn't come out even. So that means that this side needed to come over a little further and it's okay I'm not gonna worry about it and there's my fold over for my closure okay so now I'm going to go get some stencils and some stamps I just wanted to show you how to make your envelope and I'm going to do some stenciling and stamping on here and I will be right back. I decided that I didn't want to stencil, but I just want to make marks. So I got some marking tools out here. Some of these, this one, and this one. And I think that'll be enough. And I have some paints. I have white, and I have black, and I have some purple. And I have some palette paper over here that I'm going to use to put my paint on. So, and I have some black ink. So let's get started in making some marks on this paper. So, I'm going to put some purple down. Because it has purple in it, so I wanted some purple. And this is lavender by Deco Art. I'm going to put a little bit of that down first. And with this, I want to make some um, marks with, uh, this is the only one that I have that is um, 
script. I've lost my script one that was all script. I don't know what happened to it. Anyway, this is the only one I can find. So I just use a little bit of this. Not a lot. And that's a lot. That's a goober lot of paint that I didn't want on there. I should just get a paintbrush and brush it on there instead of dipping my whole stamp in there. Well, that makes a mark on there, didn't it? Made a big purple mark on there. There. There we go. I just wanted some monochromatic colors on here for a little bit. <gasps> Look what I just did. Oh my goodness. Goodness, goodness. I'm making a big mess here. You can tell I haven't arted for a long time. I'm making a big mess. Isn't that what we're supposed to do is make big messes? Isn't that what it's all about? Come on guys, help me out here. Help me, help me, help me Rhonda. I better stop singing. Might get in trouble. Alright, that's good enough on that. I need to get this paint off of here. Or I'll ruin this one too. Alright, that's good enough. So, let's make some marks with this one. This is a, um, I think this is an Andy Skinner from Deco Art. And I think I'm going to do that in some black ink. Yeah, that's what I want in some black ink. Okay, and I have this, which I think I want with some black ink. Woo! That made a pretty mess. Maybe a little too much. That's okay. We got it. We got control of it. So now, what am I going to do with that purple paint? Where is my book? I have a... Oh, here it is. I have a composition book. One of these days I'm going to do a video on and show you guys how many composition books I have. Now this one hasn't started using any paint in it. What am I doing? This is a new one. Oh, good night. Good night. I'll just use this paper. Just get it on there. Good, good grease. Good grease. Get it all over us. Don't waste any paint. Good grief. Alright. Now I got it all over my hands. I need to get back in the saddle and learn how to ride again. Learn how to do this art. I am really behind. And I want to let you guys know that I lost 9 pounds. Yay for me. I'm not trying. I've just been so ill and... Yeah, I lost 9 pounds, but that's okay. I want to lose 90 more. 
then I'll be happy. Okay, so now I want to make some white circles, and this is Cool White by Deco Art. And I want to make some sickles, some circles. Don't ask me where this lid came off of. It just came off of something. And that didn't work. Let's try that again, Nancy. Yeah, there we go. It always makes everything look nice. I believe in white. Remember that song by Abba? Has anybody heard that? I believe in angels. That was my favorite song when I was, I was married by that time that came out. We were in Germany, and they're a group from from Europe and they used to play that all the time all right do I got enough circles on there let's try some black ones with the littler circle maker the littler lid yes yes that's what I wanted I like those. Is everybody being able to see? I think that's enough of those. Now, I'm not sure if I want any of these. I might want the little ones, but I don't want the big ones. So I'm going to try some little ones in the black. Just a few here and there. Like that. If you all want to know what this is, if you don't know, it's a silicone hot pad type thing to take hot things out of the oven handle hot things and I cut it in pieces and that's what this is I have several different kinds. This one's round. See the round circles? This one's smaller round. Then I have one that looks like honeycombs. I have one that has lines on it. Alright, I got enough of that on there. Got enough of that on there. I think we're going to be just about done here in a minute. I want some, I don't want that on there, but I do want some lines on here. And I'm telling you what, that I can't keep up with that Elizabeth Brewer. She makes her stuff look so beautiful. 
she puts lines on it and makes stars and makes them look so gorgeous. And I never can keep up with that woman. I try, but I can't do it. But I'm going to try some lines. I'm going to try just a few lines. Just like that. I can't make stars, but I can make, I can't even make hashtags. I'm telling you, she does it a lot better than I can. That woman, she's so talented. And if you don't know who she is, you need to go over to her channel and give her some love. It's Betsy Doodle. I mean, it's not Betsy Doodle. I, that's another one you can go see. Elizabeth Brewer. Betsy Doodle is a good one, too. They're all good artists. Every one of them. But I'm telling you, Elizabeth will keep you in stitches laughing. And she's so easy to listen to. She's a woman of my heart. All right, guys, I think I've got enough. See, she makes these little stars like this. And then she goes back and does it like this. She makes that one a little bit longer like that. Like that. And she makes these gorgeous stars like that. Hey, look. Hey, look, Elizabeth, I tried. It didn't come out so hot. I stuck my finger in it. Should I try and make some white lines? Well, not so good. What am I doing wrong? Am I pushing too hard with my... I know some people go like that and make a mark. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop here. I'm not saving that paint. I'm going to stop here, I'm going to dry this, and I'll be right back, and we'll glue it together and make our cover for our um, book that I plan on making with it. So, I'll be right back when I get finished drying it. Okay, we're ready to glue it. So, I'm going to use tacky glue because... Um, it's a heavier paper, and that I want it to stay closed. Now, why would I want it want it to stay closed? I need to erase some of my pencil marks on here. So here we go. The tacky glue out. Just gonna put a line of it. Oh good, my dog's going to bark. Right up there. Glue that down. Just 
like that. Glue it down just like that. I think some of my paint's not dry. Yep, my paint's not dry, but I don't care. It's going to be all right. Come on, glue. Stick. And I'm going to glue this bottom part up. Now my husband's going to yell at her. Let's see what I'm doing. He's not feeling good today and he's really grumpy. Really grumpy. He goes tomorrow for a treatment. I'm going to have a, another two weeks of him being grumpy. Because he just is not feeling good. Okay. Oh, and I want to tell you that I watched um, Dong from Let's Make a Mess today. And I did her kielbasa and potato and onion and carrot. Oh my goodness, it was so good. And yes, that kielbasa gives the flavors. Oh, it was just yummy. And so if you guys want to try that, you need to go over to her channel and she'll show you how she makes it. And it was just yummy, yummy, yummy. We ate off of it for two days. Except for my husband wouldn't eat it because he got in his brain while he was sleeping that the onions I put in there smelt like cabbage for some reason. He thought it smelled like cabbage, which it didn't. It was onions. And it was delicious. It was so good. So anyway, here's your envelope that you can mail. And put it in the mail if you'd like or you can make a book out of it like I'm going to do I'm going to make a little glue book out of it I do believe I'm going to get some papers and sew some signatures in here and this is going to be my closure and that's going to bug me now forever because it's not done right maybe I can make it done right make it so it's not so uneven and it will close shut like that maybe it might get too thick and I might have to either cut it off so I can put things in this pocket see We'll have to see what I'm going to do. So, anyway, there's my envelope, guys. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed the process. And I hope you guys make some of your own. And here's the template. Just remember that, yeah, I would even mail stuff in it like this. I would. I have these, um, I'll show you, I have these plastic things, and when I ever mail out an envelope like this, I got these off of Amazon, I put them in, this one is a six, six and a half by nine and a half size, and I got a hundred of them. And I always put mine in this, my envelope in this, my decorated envelope. I put it in like this. 
and then I can put a uh, an address label on it and another address return address and this is sticky so it folds down like that you can pull the tab off of it or it folds down like that and you can pull the tab off of it and stick it then if this gets wet in the um in the mail it your paint and stuff won't run off of it and you can put your mailing address on there and your return and your stamp and then I would put a piece of um, tape packing tape clear packing tape over it and put it in the mail and they will take them like this because I've mailed many of them out and then people can just open them and take that off and use your envelope for their art or whatever they want to do with it. That's just a suggestion. I got these off of Amazon. I just put in plastic mailing or clear cellophane en uh, envelope mailers or something like that. Anyway, it comes up. I got this side and I got this. Um, this side, which is your three and th four and three fourths by nine and a half. This is your legal. And it's called lip and tape size lip and tape number nine. There's a hundred of them in here. There's a hundred of them in here. And yeah, if you can get them off of Amazon if you choose to do so. They're not expensive. And for a hundred of them, and if you want to save your art to mail out your art, then you can do it this way. All right, guys, if you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're new. And thank you for all the new subscriptions. And comment and share me, please. Share me around so people will come and watch my video and for those who are interested I went to the doctor yesterday and um, they're going to be running some tests on me to see what's going on and um, I told you I lost nine pounds so I'm happy about it but they aren't quite happy about how I'm losing it because I can't eat anything so anyway that's a different story and we don't need to get on that so thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.